Artificial intelligence is one of those phrases that gets used a lot, but not everybody actually knows what it means. We want to show people what artificial intelligence is and open their minds to, to what the possibilities are. We want to show them from our own experiences how organisations that are our customers have used artificial intelligence machine learning for the betterment of their business, not just about cost reduction, but actually improve their key performance metrics in the business. Fundamentally, uh, AI is about machines understanding the world, reasoning from large sets of data, and starting to interact with people in more natural ways. I would say with implementing AI, um, win small, win often. So it's to get those initial wins right off the start and not going too big, because then you might set yourself up for failure, but also thinking about the platform and the data that feeds the AI system so that it can be sustainable and really scale across an organization. AI is about that thinking, that intelligence. AI is data driven. AI is about using machine learning, natural language programming, cognitive science, and so many other things such as mathematics to produce insight, to produce analytics, and to produce what I call as wisdom. The backbone of artificial intelligence is data. What you need to do, you need to be able to confirm, to take that data, convert it into information and to intelligence. So companies, businesses need to make sure they have clean data, organized data in a way that is understandable or well interpretable by machines. I think there's obviously a clear trend to drive that automation, but it is in that ecosystem environment where we see the intention is to focus on the ERP which you've already invested in, but also to look at complementing that with best of breed and robotic capabilities. I think obviously the first thing is, is understanding what AI is. That's obviously so educational I think is, is one of is, is one of the first challenges that we need to look at. But then also redefining um, what finance of the future will look like, I think is, is the second aspect of that. And I think the third aspect is is people will want to see the use case examples before they move further. You all have mental models of how the world is supposed to look in your head. What you do is you take action in relation to those models and then you get the outcome. Now if you don't get the outcome you want, our instinct is to go back and do more of the same action. So if you ever hear anybody saying in response to trying to get AI embedded into a culture, need more money, need a bigger budget, need more resource. So it's around keeping things simple, thinking, about what it, it uses and playing emotional intelligence, keeping our language practical and accessible and telling stories about where AI can really enhance our lives.